Hello and welcome to another how-to guide for your shower. Today's episode focuses on removing the on-off valve from your three-dial thermostatic shower valve. It's important to note that if you have to replace the on-off dial in your valve, then you will have to remove the valve from the shower in order to do this. So here we have our three-dial valve. It's the middle dial that controls the water on and off and its flow rate that we're going to be concerned with. First of all, on the side of the chrome dial is a little silver lug that simply unscrews and inside we insert a 2.5mm Allen key, give it half a turn just to loosen and then we can pull off the chrome dial. Underneath there is a silver ring which holds on the dial plate, just simply unscrew the ring. and next we remove the dial plate. You'll see on the top of the valve where the dial was, there are two holes. We can use these two holes in order to get some purchase to remove this top section. A handy tool that most people might have in a toolbox is some angled nose pincers. Place them in the hole and carefully rotate. Once loosened, the whole of the chrome section should slowly unscrew and then remove completely, exposing the upper part of the on-off valve seen here as a brass colour. On the top of the valve is a hex nut shape which we can use a spanner or a wrench to simply loosen and then remove completely the on-off valve. It's important when replacing your on-off valve that you get exactly the, the correct type. The lower part where the red end is, if you measure that diameter, that will give you an idea of the size of the on-off dial that you need. Obviously if you have a looser valve, contact us. When replacing it, screw back in the on-off dial and tighten it up very tightly with a spanner. Next, place on the silver thread section and again using the two holes to get purchase tighten up the upper chrome housing. It's important to get this tight so there's no water leaks. At this point here obviously you would fit the valve back into the shower tower before proceeding. Replace the on-off dial plate making sure it's orientated in the right direction. And next using the silver ring tighten that over the top to hold the face plate in position. We now need to place the chrome dial over the spindle of the on-off dial and just check to ensure that when the lug is fitted that it points uh, correctly to match the markings on the dial plate. Tighten up the grub screw inside and replace the chrome lug. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel